Hello Collective, welcome back to my platform. Thank you for watching as always. Please remember to comment, like, share. <laughs> there we go again, subscribe to, to the channel, show support. Uh, I'm sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, happiness, many, many blessings to you and your families. Stay in the purest of white light as always. Okay, so we have divine timing. Things are being balanced out. This has to do with an Ace of Pentacles offer. Things are being balanced out in your favor. The wheel is moving in the direction that it's supposed to be moving in. And even if it was moving in the reversal position, it will be the direction that it's supposed to be moving in because there is no coincidences or accidents in the universe. Everything is always in divine timing and acting according it. There was divine intervention. There could have been some type of opportunity that was supposed to be blocked Blocked, or someone was making an effort to block this opportunity but you are receiving a promotion there will be no more blockages someone has been planning someone's trying to come up with another plan on how to interfere with this it's like someone is extremely stubborn someone has a lot of dreams to get what belongs to someone else or to just block you from being fruitful in life it was all the dream they used to read World Up magazine. It's salt and pepper have a D up in the limousine. Honey, someone has rocked their tip till it has popped. Their chakras are out of whack. You need to get back into alignment. Okay? Someone has been trying to block something. They're coming up with a plan. They don't know what else to do. There is divine intervention. This promotion, whatever this is, whether it's at work, in life, in spirituality, whatever this promotion is, it is absolutely coming in. There is nothing they can do to block this anymore. Okay? Balance is long overdue in this situation there has been some type of collaboration going on behind the scene okay we have a, a, a emperor in here okay source i'm putting it this way your angel your ancestors source they are working on an emperor he is going through some type of change this was unintended this is someone that has been stuck in their ways for a long time. Someone was hired to do something, but spirit is putting this person through some type of change. As I said, someone is being humble, but this is for their own good. Someone is being healed. Okay. So this is like a rule awakening for them, but it is going to be something beneficial for them. Someone is going through healing. This is why this divine intervention is taking place it is for someone's well-being uh, this emperor has absolutely made the decision to right a wrong as honey to right a wrong to clear things up to do the right thing this person is taking charge of a situation moving forward moving on someone may have like feelings for you someone may be passionate about you someone may be hoping that they can make some type of offer to you. Hopefully, you two can seal the karma waters. Or someone is just, you know, making an offer to bring balance into a situation. It does not have to be love. He's just choosing to do the right thing. Okay? Yeah, then I said collaboration. There was absolutely a collaboration to interfere with something. Someone has been going above and beyond. They possibly hired this emperor to take you down. But this person is having a change of heart. They may have maybe emotions for some of you. They may just be seeing things from a higher perspective. There is divine intervention. Something is being illuminated to this emperor so that he can make the right decision create a new path for himself, move on, separate himself from this collaboration. Something is going on here. There's a change that is going on, okay? Thank you. Someone is seeing things clearly. They are learning from you. Someone is watching you, learning from you. Someone see you, sees you as extremely intelligent, wise, Someone knows you're telling the truth is what I just heard about a collaboration. Someone may be coming towards you to bring something to your attention. This person may have worked with these people in the past. Like I said, he may have been hired to do something. 
but he's having a change of heart. So now he's taking, he may be taking actions to bring balance into a situation. And someone is not happy about this. A group of people are not happy about this. If they know what he's doing. Okay. Lord have mercy. Someone knows there's something going on. Someone knows the truth. You've spoken on some type of secret. You've exposed something that was not meant to be known or this emperor did not know this secret, but you said something that has illuminated the truth to this emperor and he may be taking a different turn or you have helped this person go through an ascension and he is choosing a new path. It may not be easy, but he's choosing this new path to bring balance into his life, into your life. Someone may have feel, I keep coming back to that. It keeps being brought back to me. Someone may have feelings for some of you. Like there's an emperor that has his eyes on you. He may see you, see you as very young, vibrant, lively, feisty, something like that. He wants to have some type of genuine connection with you for some of you. Uh, for others of you, this is just someone bringing balance into your life. Someone is choosing to do the right thing. Absolutely. There's something in here about a king of cups. There's a king of cups that may be living in fear. Someone may have exposed something about a king of cups, actions that they took in the past against you, collective. How this person was trying to destroy you, have you living in fear, playing mental games, working with people behind the scenes to cause some type of illusion to come in and gaslight you. Offer fake love. Just having people playing with you overall in a whole lot of different ways. And this person, there is karma going on for them. They are getting a taste of their own medicine. Someone did not expect for things to go this way. Someone did not expect for balance to be brought into this situation. Someone did not believe in divine timing. Someone thought they were above God. They were above the universe. They were in control of your destiny. But that is not how it's going. Someone is a someone is a narcissist. Someone comes across as a king of cups in this situation, and they are not a king of cups. Someone is out of touch with your emotions, right? But there's a king of cups in here that may want to connect with you and bring balance into a situation because he's seeing the truth about you. Something has been illuminated about you. This is possibly just the energy this person is showing up in. This could be the, this could very well be this emperor that's having uh, uh, um, desires for you, maybe wants to be with you. Maybe this is why he's showing up in his King of Cups energy. But you are being seen as the truth. There's an Ace of Pentacles that is yours and someone or a group of people have been working to block you. It's like they don't want you to be happy in life. Someone in here, this emperor... I hear him saying, I should have never gotten involved in this. He didn't know the full truth. He did not know the full truth. Someone is going from working with these people to possibly getting in a partnership with you. There's some type of change that's going on. We have a king of wands in here as well. This could have been someone you had some type of divine contract with, this King of Wands, but they went astray. This was an, an earth angel. This was someone with a calling on their life. There's a King of Cups that's seeing the truth about this person as well. It's like everything is being exposed but things are going in the direction. Divine timing intervention is taking place. Divine intervention is taking place. There's balance being brought in the situation. Mayat is in the building. Is what I just heard. The wheel of fortune is moving forward and everything that you put out is being returned to you. So if you put out negative energy, that's being brought back to you. If you put out positive energy, that's being brought back to you. This is balance. This is divine timing. This is 
re, uh, um, reparation in a sense. It's like people stole a lot from you all and you are being compensated for what you lost. You have a lot of eyes on you. We have, you know, the uh, page of source is a big social media card. So if you're someone that creates content, you have a lot of eyes on you. There could be some type of stand up. <laughs> okay. This King of Wands is going through some financial issues. This King of Wands is trapped in something. This person is holding back or is being told to hold back. This person is stuck, maybe trapped in some type of union. Someone in here maybe going through like a divorce or something. Someone's money is blocked. Someone's money, resources, they're blocked. Someone went against the grind. It's like someone was supposed to partner up with someone else for work, something like that. And they chose the wrong path, but now they're seeing you as the truth. They may want to come to worship, but they cannot. Their money is out of balance. Someone may have lost quite a lot of money. They're living very fruitful, frugally, not voluntarily. It's like someone, it's like you have like a lot of name brand stuff. You live in a big house, you have a nice car, but you don't really have any money in your bank account. So you still appear to be uh, wealthy, but you're having a lot of financial issues behind closed doors. Uh, this is what this King of Wands is going through. Or this could just be this person wanting to get out of a marriage. I'm telling you, endings. Someone wants to get out of a marriage as well that is extremely unhappy they feel trapped they're they feel trapped someone in here has a very old traditional mindset they won't grow up they're not willing to learn they're stuck in an old way of doing things in an old paradigm is what i just heard and all of that is coming to an end Someone's finances is coming to an end as well. They were misusing it. Yeah. You know what? <laughs> Someone in here is leaving an unhappy marriage to have a new beginning in love. They want to have equal give and take. This is not what their marriage consists of or their relationship consists of. So they are putting an end to it in order to have a brand new passionate beginning with you. Something also keeps being brought to me that this emperor is showing up in different energies in here. This person is going through a change. This is someone with a fixed mindset. This is someone that has been living a particular way for a long time. It has not been working and he's going through a change. Rebirth. A rebirth is what he is going through. This is of pentacles is absolutely something that belongs to someone. It could be you collective or whoever this message resonates with. There's someone in here that was expecting to receive this is of pentacles. Someone may have stolen from you in the past and they were trying to do it again. But someone did not tell people the full truth. People in this collaboration, they did not tell them the full truth about what was going on behind the scenes. This is like someone being into like the, 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 the dark web kind of activities. But on the surface, they make it look like, oh, they're just stealing $50 from you. But maybe they're uh, T, you know, the T word in people. They recording people, selling it on the dark web, things like that into gang stalking, into illegal activities. There's something like that going on here. And this emperor may not have known, known the extent that someone was going to, to block some type of union from coming together, to block some type of uh, uh, offer from being made. It's like someone putting a lot of effort to block you from receiving something only to help you walk right into your blessings. Okay, there's a decision this emperor has to make. Is he going to choose money 
or is he going to choose love for some of you? Because someone is offering this emperor a ridiculous amount of money. They're hoping that he will not refuse it. And he has to choose between either betraying you, doing something to you, or accepting that money. Maybe this already happened, but there is something here for about that. Someone is divinely guided. There's an emperor in here that is in the upright. Spirit is working on this person. They're working on him. They're working on this person slowly. And it's terrifying people in this collaboration. This king of wands, Lord have mercy, bless his soul. It's that he has found the truth out about either someone he's partnered up with. And this is why he's putting an end to this situation in order to have love. It's that someone is realizing that they are with a partner that is not genuinely interested in them. Someone may have married this person for money. This could very well be this emperor as well. Someone married someone for money. And they did not realize that this masculine found out that they, they had ulterior motives for him. And now he's putting an end to this. He's possibly even holding all of his money back. This could, could be why we have this four of pentacles out here. He's no longer giving to this person because he knows they are a gold digger. Someone has been securing their bag either through a queen, king of wands or an emperor. And they're putting an end to that. They're like, oh, so you really don't even care about me. You, you should see me as your uh, cash cushion. I'm just a bank account for you. I want out. So they're separating from someone because they want to have, they want to know what genuine love is. Someone wants to have a genuine connection with someone else. They're walking away from toxicity. They're walking away from this old traditional mindset where people think they have to stay with whoever they've been with for 20 years, 30 years, even if they're not happy with that person. Because the, the generation before us and the one before them, they have this mindset that you have, they have this like toxic mindset about loyalty. Loyalty, loyalty is a beautiful thing, but you cannot be loyal to people that are not loyal to you. So even if a marriage is not working out, a relationship is not working out, a friendship is not working out, these types of people will still stay loyal. Like they'll still take money and give it to someone they know is not loyal to them. I don't understand their mindset. It is very complexing for me. I've never been able to understand it. It said, oh, we've been together for 40 years. Even though we're not happy, we're still going to stay together. For what? For what? Who are we trying to impress? Why are we staying together if we're not happy? You don't have to be mean to each other. You don't have to wish ill for each other. Is it for money? Is that why you two are sticking together, but you want people to believe that you are the ideal couple or that you're happy together or you just like the sound of we've been together for 40 years time means nothing someone can come into your life today and be a, a more lawyer to you more genuine th genuine to you than someone that's been in your life for 40 years time means nothing intentions is what counts loyalty is what counts Healthy loyalty. Let's put it that way. But someone has been trapped in a marriage for a long time. They don't, they didn't, I don't know if they didn't realize that someone married them for money. Or this could be even a recent relationship where two people got married and one person got into this relationship for money. I've seen a lot of pentacles out here. Someone has been going to readers to verify messages. This is a masculine that's going to readers. It's like they will hear one reader, one, one reading on a platform, and then they'll go contact another reader to verify their message. It's that, you know, this person's channel is new, so I'm gonna go to someone that's more that's more experienced to see if this, tr this is true. Someone is concerned about one of their friends, 
if they are going to jail or have something crazy going on behind the scenes. So if someone is going through an extensive length to get verification from other readers to see if the messages they are receiving about either themselves or their friend is true. In every reader you go to, we, we all have different meanings that we apply to this card. The meanings of the cards are general, but readers have different meanings that they apply to these cards. So you may want to be careful about that. It does not matter how new someone is to divination. It does not matter how new their channel is. It does not matter what personal uh, 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 emotions you have towards their reader. If you know them personally, you don't know them personally, what meaning they apply to their card, the relationship they have with source, the way their messages are given to them is going to be different from the next person. So if, so that, that just concludes, if you're watching a reader you don't trust, I wouldn't be watching their reader then. Don't watch them. Have mercy, I'm struggling with my cards today. I keep hearing this a king. Oh, Lord, have mercy. There's a king of cups that's going through some type of ending. Oh, yeah, Lord Jesus. <laughs> Lord, have mercy. Someone is very toxic. Someone is afraid of a new beginning, is what I just heard. So they are going back and forth in their mind. Should I choose to be with this person? Can I be genuine with this person? Or can I stay in toxicity? Someone is afraid of love. Someone is afraid of, of, is afraid of reciprocity. Someone is afraid of their heart's desires. Let's put it that way. They want to put an end to being trapped, to lack, to unhappiness, disappointment, setbacks, stagnation, unfulfillment. They want to put an end to all of that and have a new beginning, but this person is toxic. They're attached to toxic toxicity. I hear something about a dark practitioner, altar, black magic, toxic love, is that someone wants to have real love, but they're they're trapped in a I don't honey, that's too much to be doing. That is just too much to be doing. With a queen of wands, god dang it. Queen of swords. Oh Lord. Other women are popping out. There's a queen of wands that's Possibly upset about a queen of pentacles speaking the truth. Someone is being forced to see and accept the truth. They are not the real queen of pentacles or empress, something of that nature. This is someone toxic, this queen of wands. She, she is extremely toxic. Someone has been misrepresenting themselves, pre pretending to be a true speaker. They, for some of you that are content creators, if you are on like platforms, this person could be watching you, copying what you're saying, regurgitating that to sound educated like you, to sound a, a, a creative like you, to sound wise like you, but they're not. This is someone toxic. This is someone that refuses to get help. She's listening to you, watching you speak the truth, and she's pissed off about that. Someone wants to bring you an ending, may have formed some type of toxic contract with someone to come towards you, to pick a fight with you, but the person could not. Someone is being exposed. They've been exposed. I don't know if she knows that she's been exposed, but people know the truth about this woman now. It says she's still trying to live in denial. But people are like, nah, 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 nah. She's, someone's telling the truth about you. She's telling the truth. He's telling the truth. And they're pissed off. I heard the power of three. So a queen of wands, queen of swords, queen of pentacles, 
They've been working together in a collaboration and they are at a loss. Lord have mercy. These three are having a hard time. But if you see these three, you will not know because they're walking around with a mask on their faces, in their lives, for their lives are upside down behind the scenes. I don't think it's a coincidence that the three of them came out together right below this freaking three of pentacles. These are people that gaslight. These three women, they gaslight people. They're very manipulative. One is good. Listen, I'm going to be very straightforward and literal because of the meanings of this card. One uses her beauty to attract men and trap them. One is good with using her words to manipulate. And the other one is good at pretending to be a wife material. But they are toxic, the three of them. Absolutely toxic. This one does a lot of word manipulation. And she works on behind the scenes. If you see her, you will not think that she's into things like this. This is someone that comes across as genuine. Absolutely not genuine. Very rash. Emotionally unstable. Mentally unstable is what I'm hearing. hearing. Very cold and calculative. Cunning. She's the one giving the orders, but she does it from behind the scenes. And you have this queen of pentacles here that is very much crazy. This is someone that's very financially focused. This is not someone in the upright. This is someone that does things from behind the scenes as well. But she's careless. It's very easy. If you have spiritual eyes, you don't even need spiritual eyes to see this person's character. This is someone careless. I keep hearing she doesn't take care of herself. Horrible mother, bad relationship with child, crazy, emotionally unhinged is what I just heard. She wants to appear to be educated. She wants to appear to be authoritative. She wants to appear to be loyal, but she's not loyal. And they're all going through some type of emotional distress and financial distress. This is what they were intending for you, but this is what's happening to them. These two have, these three have been work. There could be some of you where it's two women working together, but these three women have been working together for a long time. They may be coming out as two because I said the word two because the Queen of Wands and the Queen of Pentacles are the ones in the front, and this woman works from behind the scenes. But the three of them are absolutely pissed off because the truth is being spoken about them. They're extremely toxic into dark magic. They trap people into horrible contracts, binding contracts, and without their knowledge. And they are going through a loss. It's, and some of you, these women, it's not that you did anything to them. It's just that they don't want you to be happy because they're unhappy. I do not get a positive vibe from any of these three women. And please, let's see how this, this came out. The Queen of Wands has the King, Knight of Cups above her. The Knight of Cups are people that gaslight. They're emotionally unstable. The love offer they give is never genuine. It's impulsive. One minute they like you, the next minute they don't, they don't like you. So this woman is impulsive. She uses her beauty to ma manipulate people's emotions. This is a manipulator when it comes to love. She plays on people's heart. So this could be the one that possibly got married for money or got in a relationship with a masculine for money. This one is the one that criticizes, judges, gives the orders, she looks at all of the details on what we, sh what, what we should do as far as the group, what moves to make, how to do this, how to do that. She's the head of the group. This is her standing up here, and this is these two idiots standing at the bottom, taking orders from her. This one is the one that pretends to be educated. This is an airhead. This woman wants to be you. This is someone that wants to be you. You are actually an authentic queen of pentacles. You are educated. You are loyal. 
So this person has been pretending to be you. It's like each of these women are trying to embody an aspect of a queen of, I mean, an empress, which should be you collective. They are all representing some type of aspect of you, but in the negative way. One wants to be one wants one wants to have your brain. One wants to have your beauty. The other one wants to be the ideal wife and mother like you. Someone knows you're a very good mother, and they want to pretend or they've been pretending to be that, but they're not. Someone has a very hard relationship with their daughter, an unhealthy relationship with their daughter. Someone in here could have an unhealthy relationship with their son as well. A lot of pretending. I was wondering why I said two, and then it makes sense. This woman acts from behind the scenes. And these, listen. <laughs> I'm going to put that there. Not Nothing is accidental. I'm going to put that there. This is the head of the group. She's the one that decides what time they meet, where they're going to meet, what they will be discussing. They don't talk about anything on the phone, over the phone. They do everything in person. They change their locations every time. Sometimes they meet at restaurants, sometimes in, uh, uh, in, in somewhere secluded where there's no one. They may even meet in the car sometimes to have their meetings on how they're going to move forward because if one plan does not work, they come up with another plan. And they've been doing this for a long time. They're getting frustrated. These three are frustrated. They're crying. They know there's some type of ending that's coming for them. While they are crying, you're staying calm. They know there's a masculine that's planning to move on. Someone cannot trap this masculine anymore with gaslighting love, fake love, superficial love, and disingenuine love. But they know he's staying calm and moving forward. Someone wanted you to appear to be toxic is what I'm hearing as well. Someone wanted people to believe you're toxic, you are imbalanced, you are incapable of rationalizing. You're mentally unstable. You are not educated. Some of us are working on our masters in metaphysics. Starseed, those are the things we are out here doing while these people are out here doing stupid stuff. Not maturing 50 years, 10 years, five years from now, these people will still be in the same uh, positions in life. Low vibrational. low vibration on refusing to elevate refusing to grow the heck up refusing to mature these people are just aging in numbers but their mindset is digressing by the day by the week by the month by the years they want to be you they've never met someone that has everything in one a powerhouse heavily intimidated by you so they've gone through to extensive length to make you look like something you are not. This is how it is. There could be some separation between these three. They may not even be working together anymore for some of you. I don't know why I'm struggling to shovel my car. Does someone not want the message coming out? It's still going to come out. It's like they are in some type of remorseful uh, 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 mindset. I don't know how to put that because they've done everything to block you from receiving some type of opportunity. But as you can see, the wheel of fortune is in the upright. So you are still receiving this opportunity because your ancestors stepped in, the universe stepped in to bring balance into this situation, divine intervention. You have a promotion that's coming into you. This is what they did not want you to receive. They blocked some type of opportunity in the past, but it was not meant for you. That was just a lesson that you were meant to learn and for them to learn as well. But they still have not gotten the lesson that they were intended to get, they were meant to get. 
they didn't realize that regardless of what they blocked in your life, you are still going to take charge, make the decision to move forward, take charge of your life, grab a hold of that bowl and move on with your life regardless of what these people were doing. You are still passionate about life. You're still going to be receiving the letter, the information that you're supposed to be receiving so that you can move forward. You're standing your ground. You are feisty as heck. You are someone wise. Opposite of what these people have been painting, you have gone through the dark night of the soul to, 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 to ascend. You're still a dreamer, st still showing up here as the star, passionate, blessed, the truth a great leader. You know how to manage money. You know how to put the, put an end to what needs to be ended. You don't hold on to things and people that do not mean you well. You are genuine. You have a brand new passionate beginning in love. You are extremely creative. Your creativity is in abundance. You are never liking in abundance, in spirituality, in gifts in nurturing. You pour into other people even if they do not pour into you. You are absolutely not toxic like these people have been presenting you to be. And they are pissed off about that. You're showing up in the Queen of Wands energy, meaning you've taken charge of your life, your balance, you're a warrior, you're standing your ground. People do not want you speaking the truth, but you're speaking the truth. Meanwhile, still handling business in your life as a mother, wife, a worker, you are still handling business regardless of what sorrows these people have tried to cause you. Regardless of what you've lost, you still have the strength and the courage to move forward. And this is what they cannot compete with. This is what they cannot understand. They keep throwing blows at you, but you keep moving forward. Cowards. Car worse. Someone is in competition with you for a man that you are not with, it, with, you've never been with. Some of you don't even know who this man is, but someone is in a competition with you for a man. I'm telling you, competition for a man, a relationship. And they're in this relationship. They were in this relationship because of resources. It was a bountiful relationship for them because this masculine was spending a lot of money on them. But this person is putting an end to this relationship to move forward with their life. They want to have victory. So they're going to be cutting their loss with this person. They're cutting their loss. These, these three celebrated a little too early. They thought they had victory over you, but now they're living in remorse. You are being seen for who you are. These people have lost quite a lot of money. Someone is upset that you are an empress. I mean, a high priestess. You're intuitive. If the word empress is coming out, that means that you are an empress. And I mentioned it earlier. Someone is heartbroken that they could not defeat you. You are the actual empress. So you could have been going up against another empress that was not necessarily an empress or she was not in the upright because I see like this death card above this empress. Someone is going through an ending. Someone's victory was very short-lived. Extremely short-lived. Thank you. This empress is... No, nah, honey. Someone is living in fear. Living in fear because the truth has been exposed. Someone has been causing a lot of illusions behind closed doors. Working, honey, working over time. Working hard to cause illusions, prevent a union from coming together. Someone has been going to this woman to pay her to block a union from coming into being. Someone was told to be practical about a situation, but she felt all powerful. There's a business relationship with this woman that, woman that has come to an end. Someone is keeping their distance from her because there's no, because they know what she's been doing. But this is someone that has been doing quite a lot behind the scenes.
quite a lot. Just because a car shows up in the upright does not mean the person is upright. We have to look at the whole picture, the other cars around them. This woman is surrounded by the three of swords, the death, and the freaking nine of wands. This is not a good empress. This is not a good empress. And then the ten of wands is out here. This woman has been putting in a lot of efforts behind the scenes. This woman was expecting to have victory over you, collective. She was expecting to defeat you, steal what belongs to you, but then make it look like you are the problem. When you don't even know who this person is, for a lot of you, you've never met this person a day in your life. But this is someone that's in competition with you because they feel like you're more powerful than them. They've defeated everyone else before you, but why can they not defeat you? They are more experienced as, at this than you are. They've been doing it for 20 years. They've been doing it for 40 years. They've been doing it for 10 years, 30 years. You've only been doing this for two years, one year, six years, five years, three years, six months. And they can't take you down. So they don't know why they cannot take you down. So they put in more effort. If I just do more, she's going to fall. If I just do more, he's going to fall. If I throw everything at them at once, they're going to fall. And I'm going to defeat them. And I will be the most powerful high priestess. For who? Where? What constitutes the most powerful High priestess. What makes you the most powerful high priestess? That's what I want to know. Because all high priestesses are gifted in different ways. So what makes you more powerful? What makes you the most powerful is what I want to know. Is it because you've been attacking people from behind the scenes for so many years? They didn't know. So you had success. But now you're attacking someone from behind the scenes that does not know you. You're not having any any success. So it's playing with your ego. Is that why you're having a problem? I respect people that do things in the open. If you're going to attack me, attack me in the open. So at least I have a chance to defend myself. But the moment you decide to attack me from behind the scenes, I already know I'm stronger than you. So you are afraid of facing me. Because you know if you if you come to me, you already lost the battle. You don't stand a chance. So this is why you have to act from behind the scenes to interfere with people's life and try to take them down. You thought you were almost there. Almost there. Almost there. No, you're not almost nowhere. It's an end for you. People will not be coming to you from everywhere because you are not almost there. You are dark as heck. You're, you, the truth is illuminated about you, ma'am. You cannot hide anymore. While you've been doing the dark magic behind the scene, Miss Sabrina, the secret, the... <laughs> I don't I almost call you Sabrina the teenage witch. While you've been doing magic behind the scene, the high priestess you've been coming up against has been learning how to protect themselves, keep pushing forward so that their future is solidified. Their throne is solidified. There is nothing you can do to destroy that throne. It is solidified by the most high. While your throne is falling, and this person's throne is rising and is Dirty. There is nothing you can do. It is secure. It is secure. It is secure. It is secure. You are done. There's a high priestess. I don't know if you're the same person going through some type of emotional change, mental change, whatever. 
you are now starting to tell the truth about some this is for someone specific there's a high priestess in here that is now choosing to do the right thing she's keeping her distance away from a toxic group of people or a toxic person she no longer wants to work with them because she knows this person has ulterior motives so she is getting the heck away from them as far as possible so that she can live in truth trying to go through healing change her life no longer be in the dark work she wants to be in the up right now. That is for someone specific. And you don't know this woman. Never met this woman a day in your life. But she's been working you behind the scenes. She's going through her ending. It's done. It's done. All this dark work. Attacking star seas. Crystal children. Indigo children. It's done. Balance is brought in the situation. The vibration of Mother Earth must be elevated. It must be raising because it's vibrating very low at the wrong frequency. This is why we have a lot of problems in this on this earth because of wickedness. We reside in a low vibrational energy. I'm telling you, that high priestess you've been going up against, collective you, whoever this message resonates with, your future is secure. You're building a legacy. You have a marriage coming towards you. There's an institution that may be sending you some type of check or something, bringing something to your awareness, bringing balance into a situation. There has absolutely been a decision made to give you what's yours or to compensate you for your loss. Someone is upset that they don't know what's going on. And this is someone that has been working against all of you, collective. They are upset that they don't know what's going on. Things are being hidden from them, so they're sneaking around. Someone is logging into people's computers to find out information. Someone is sneaking around into people's phones, into people's documents, people's offices. When you're not around, this person is coming and going through offices, going through computers, phones, personal belongings, because they don't know what's going on anymore. They are being kept out of the loop. And this is because this person is imbalanced. This is someone that loses their temper. When you confront them with the truth, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't do that. That's not true. She's lying. He's lying. No, they're not. Absolutely not. No, they're not. I'm telling you, I didn't do this, but they did. Someone is trying to stand their ground. I'm telling you. And this is someone impulsive. Someone is lying. Someone knows exactly what's going on. They've been taking actions behind the scenes to block someone's finances, block someone's opportunity. Someone was supposed to give a letter to someone and they never did it. It's like someone trusted a masculine to provide a letter to someone and he never gave that person that letter. He held on to it. And they've been playing innocent the whole time, thinking if I just stay calm, if I just stay cool, I don't show any emotions, maybe they won't know that I didn't do what I was supposed to do or I've been taking all of these actions behind the scenes to interfere with this person's life, bribing people. Someone does not know the game is over. So while they're working on still blocking you, they don't realize their future is over. They've lost a job opportunity. They've lost their job. Someone just lost like a, I don't, like a six-figure job or something like that. Someone is about to lose a six-figure job. Because they didn't know when to leave you alone. They didn't know to leave you alone. No matter how many warnings the universe gave them, told them to leave you alone, they didn't listen. Someone is very much of a narcissist. They feel entitled. 
they are offended that they cannot take you down so they have been going above and beyond to cause endings in your life but the endings they've been causing have been orchestrated by the most high so it is divinely orchestrated it was necessary so that you could grow but this person is going through an ending they will not be able to recover from they're going to be waiting looking for money coming up with ways to have money have income Everywhere they go is going to be, we are not hiring because this person is going to be exposed for what they've been doing. Someone is about to be exposed in the worst way possible with their connection to an institution. A clothing, a coat, people with fixed mindset that are unhealthy for society. They go against the very essence of what society is supposed to be so that society can thrive. These are people with dangerous mindset. Their mindsets are dangerous to society. They're cold, calculative, cunning, emotionless, void of any human emotions, greedy as can be, overindulged. And someone in here has been laughing at other people's poverty and they are about to be in poverty or they are already in poverty. They are lucky we don't operate that way. We don't laugh at other people's downfall. But someone is about to be humble. Humble. Someone is losing a lot of resources. Truth exposed. Truth exposed. Once you receive your abundance, you have a you have a message coming in about your abundance. Once you receive this abundance, you are absolutely being advised to take a risk in life. Step out on faith. Start over brand new. Maybe even move to a different state, to a different country. Move. Go over, go and start over. Get away from this toxic place. Toxic people. You absolutely have a brand new passionate beginning coming in and you are being told to go for it. You are being seen as the truth and someone is pissed off. Someone is crying that the truth is being exposed, is being seen. You're showing up here in the Page of Cups energy and the Fool. Something cannot be hidden anymore. The details are being looked at. You've inspired someone to see the truth, to re-examine their ways of doing things, to get in touch with source. Someone is going through healing. Someone admires you for how you've handled this situation. You've remained calm, hopeful. You're not out here spilling toxicity. It's like I've watched this person and I've seen everything they've done to this person. Then I just said, watch. I've watched this person and I've seen everything these people have done. And this person has stayed true to themselves. And there's and this group is still trying to tell me that this person is the problem. Absolutely not. Someone is not going for it anymore. People don't even remember why they started coming for you. Star sees. They don't remember. They're trying to figure it out. Clarity on this two of pentacles, please. Because that just threw me off. <laughs> Lord have mercy. Is someone, I am like at a loss for words. Someone is just, someone is confused as can be. You have a lot of opportunities coming in. Divinely orchestrated by the most high. You're stepping out on faith. Someone wants to cause illusions in your life to keep you mentally blocked, mentally trapped, possibly even physically, 
maybe trying to bring legal issues to you, but someone has trapped themselves. There's a masculine in here that has trapped themselves. This Eight of Swords has nothing to do with your collective. This is someone else. This is a masculine that was playing games, not taking things seriously, and it has come back to bite him in the behind. This is someone that was sitting behind the scenes. Initially, when all of this started, they were laughing, having themselves a good belly laugh. You know, those laughs that come from the belly is wholesome for them. You feel it in your core. This person was laughing. They're not laughing anymore. Someone is either trapped or is facing legal issues. Someone has fallen from grace. Someone has fallen from grace. Someone did not expect to be here. They didn't expect to be here. They are worried. They are worried. Someone is worried about an alliance they have with a group of friends. They are trapped in some type of alliance. It initially looked really appealing, but it's not that. This is a toxic group of people. This alliance, this person wants out of it, but they're trapped in it. You see how this started? They were hopeful, they were planning, they planned everything out how it was going to go. And then they started having financial issues. Someone was waiting for a payout to come to them. They've been waiting forever. They're stuck. They can't go anywhere. Heartbroken. Something is not happening like they wanted it to. And they're realizing this alliance is not what they thought it was going to be. So you could be about to celebrate collective and these people are going through a loss. Lord have mercy. Someone is trapped in an alliance, a friend group. Someone is not seeing things clearly or they didn't see things clearly. I'm telling you, someone did not see things clearly. They thought they were successful. They were victorious. These people were celebrating. Oh, yes, we defeated the high priestess. We defeated the star seeds. And now they're trapped. I'm telling you. I am telling you. They celebrated too early. Absolutely celebrated too early. And they didn't ask, honey, my, my heart, my mind right now is in like a different realm. These people were expecting to defeat you, take you down, destroy you. It's like, you know, you have a whole plan and you're going one step at a time, one step at a time. But these people are impulsive. They started speeding up. It's like, you know what? She's not reacting like we want her to. He's not reacting like we want him to. Let's do this, do this, do this. They got impulsive because these are people that are naturally impulsive anyways. They just started doing any and everything to you. Whether it was calling you names, breaking into your phone, internet, calling your bosses to tell your bosses to fire you. Whether it was calling friends and families and things like they just started doing everything. Popping up at your houses, driving by your houses, peeking through your windows, dropping curses off to your doors and things like that. Showing up at your door to speak uh, a spell works and things like that. They just started doing everything. And they didn't realize the whole time that someone was monitoring them to see how far they will go, how low they will go. They didn't realize that someone in their camp was watching them. So everything they were doing, there was this record of it. 
someone has evidence, someone has a letter, <laughs> either it's a letter or it's a text message, an email, someone has a letter that proves what these people were doing and they are going to do the right thing because spirit has touched that person to do the right thing. So they are planning on how to approach you the right way. They're hoping you don't lose your cool with them. But someone has been touched by spirit to do the right thing. Because what these people have been doing is barbaric, it's inhumane, it's uncalled for, it's not right, it's wrong, it's unjust. You didn't do anything to deserve it. These people celebrated too early. They had warning signs before they did what they did. They knew. They were unsure about what they were doing. They were in their heads. Should we do this? Should we not do this? These people were... This is why we have this two of pentacles out here. These people stepped out on faith, took a risk. They took the wrong risk because it was not calculated. They took the wrong risk. It was not calculated. It was an any, mini, money, mo. We'll go with this one. And then they trapped themselves. Not knowing that, they were celebrating about trapping themselves. Only to find out that they had finished themselves. This is karma. This is like the universe returning to people exactly what they intend for someone. This is the universe returning to you what you put out. And someone went to a reader to get clarity. Is my friend going to jail? Are they having legal issues behind the scenes? Yes, they are. Oh, I need to distance myself from this person. They're distancing themselves from the worker now. They don't want nothing to do with the worker. This could be an occultist. That's going through an ending. I'm telling you. Everything I said is being solidified, legitimized. I told you there's a high priestess in here that's coming to an end. Ten of swords below her. People celebrated too early. Eight of swords, three of cups, ten of swords. There could be three people in this collaboration for some of you. The number three keeps popping up. It's a few threes out here. Three, three, three. So this could be three people for some of you. For some of you, it could be eight people, four people. Some of you, it could be 12, 13 people. It's different. But they have been committed to their mission in taking you down. It didn't end well for them. The Ten of Swords for me is karma. This is you not trusting your inner guidance to not do something. This is you not trusting your inner guidance to not form an alliance with people that you don't know 100% or don't trust 100%. This is you not listening to wisdom. You disregarding everything and you going all out to destroy someone else with ulterior motive is that you come out pretending to be genuine to have someone's best interest at heart there's something a couple did here pretending to have someone's best interest at heart only for people to find out they were malicious this high priestess whoever this is is a it's a done game this is someone that misleads this is someone that misguides people this is a liar this is a false high priestess this is a dark worker she manipulates this could be someone that does not even have any spiritual gifts but she pretends to have spiritual gifts because the money is good people have trusted this woman based off of her lies for some of you this is someone that's gifted but she misuses her gifts and is being stripped away from her. She's going through an ending that could have been avoided if she would just have stayed out of this chaos these people brought to her. For some of you, this is someone that was the head of this collaboration. She thought she was all powerful. 
Please see the cars that are surrounding this woman. There are no positive cars around her. We have the death card, the three of swords, the nine of wands, the ten of swords. This woman is going through an ending. For some of you, this person is passing away. This person is trying to protect himself, herself from someone that she lied to and misled. She has someone working overtime to block your forward movement, to block a marriage, block an abundance, to smear your character, block some new beginning, have people juggling you, people unsure about you, people trapped in their minds. We're just being literal right now with what we see. And she did this so well, people were celebrating and thought they were on the right team, on the right side of things. Only to find out this is a malicious and cold-hearted, blood, cold-blooded person. And she's done. This is someone that is cold. High priestesses are people that are intuitive, spiritually gifted. They know the unknown. They see the unseen. They are wise, knowing, family-oriented very wholesome they've learned how to balance duality between physicality and spirituality they are respectful of the gifts and access that they have very considerate people they know more than they tell you they're not loose with their lips not this woman this is someone if you question something, she says, I'm telling you, this is the truth. That's what I'm seeing. This is what my cars are telling me. And if someone talks like that, I absolutely will hope you will know that is not a high priestess because we don't carry ourselves like that. We don't talk like that. We won't tell you, this is what my car says. So that is the truth. No, it's not. When someone questions you doing your reading, you're supposed to reaffirm with them. You want to put them at ease so they are not worrying. You don't want to mislead anyone. Be straight and direct with that person. If they think you're cold-hearted, that is okay. But at the end of the day, you told them the truth. You led them on the right path. You gave them the right advice. You didn't have to sugarcoat any. You never have to sugarcoat anything with uh, uh, clients. But this is someone that wants to prove her power, her ability. She wants to prove that she's a high priestess. I'm telling you, I'm telling the truth. She is a whore. She is a narcissist. She is manipulative. If you go to her, your life will be over. Excuse me? I've been doing this for 10 years. I know what I'm talking about. That, uh, that, that ain't someone you want to partner up with. She's going to cause you a lot of endings. Girl, you need help. You're out here misguiding the masses. And you were put in charge to, uh, uh, to, to guide them in the right direction. Lord have mercy. I'm telling you, she's not sealing. The, nothing good is coming out about this woman. She is not sealing the karma water. She's being sat down by the cosmos. It's over for this woman. Someone has trapped themselves into something they cannot get out of. She cannot get out of this. People want explanation. She's hiding. She may not be answering calls anymore, not returning emails. Someone does not want to post content anymore. Someone is disingenuous, dark, financially motivated. Someone is broken on the inside. They've been hiding it for years and have been taking it out on clients, but clients did not know that this rope woman is broken on the inside. So she's been misguiding them. False guidance. She has been letting people destroy their own lives because hers was destroyed. So because she refused to heal, she's been destroying people's lives. 
from behind the scenes, giving them false wisdom. Someone is not wise. And again, please dismiss the fact that this car came out in the upright. Please look at all the cars that are surrounding this woman. There is nothing positive about this woman. Someone here hates love, is what I just heard. You go to her for a love reading, she'll pretend like she's interested in it, but in her head, in her heart, she is saying, yuck, F you and your love concerns. Nobody gives a damn about love. That's because she's unloved, she's unhappy, she doesn't have love in her life, so she doesn't want anyone else to have it. This woman has been breaking up relationships for a long time. I'm telling you, this is all that's being given to me. She has been destroying lives for a long time. And these are people she may have even called friends, family, strangers. They thought this lady was solid. You came and you surpassed someone and they are unhappy about that for one of you. You surpassed someone on their spiritual throne and they hate you for that. So they made it their mission to take you down. They've been pretending to be genuine pretending like they support you. They don't support you. It's so much being said to me about this woman. I don't know who you are that's dealing with this woman, who are you are. There's a whole group that has been dealing with this woman, working with her, paying her. And then for someone, a group here, I just heard something backfired because they've been paying a high priestess for years to lie to other people and it has backfired. It has backfired in a way they did not expect it to backfire. This is like you are new to a community, a company, organization, whatever, a business. And they introduce you to a high priestess. You have concerns. You're not typically into going to high priestesses or you're not even into spirituality. But this company, they introduce you to a high priestess and they tell you she's solid. She's the, she's the real deal is what I'm hearing. Yeah, she's the real deal. And they tell you to go to her so she can give you advice on your concerns. You go and you pay this woman good money, not knowing that the members of that organization has paid this woman to lie to you. There's ulterior motive. So if you showed interest in maybe a love interest or something, they don't want you to be with that love interest. They want to groom you to date someone else in that company so that they can trap you. They pay this woman behind the scenes to feed you lies. And then you believe it because you have a whole group of people telling you that this high priestess is solid. You've thrown your money away down the drain. Only for you to find out that this is a liar and she is in cahoots with this toxic group, this collaboration, this institution. I was going to say, I saw the higher fan out here. Now you're going through an ending, she's going through an ending, everybody's going through an ending, and there's no one around or in sight to help to make understanding of the situation. So you get on YouTube to watch videos, hoping that a message will pop up that can hopefully bring some clarity to you. But everything you see is still reiterating that there are endings going on for each and every one of you because you took actions against someone that did not have any ulterior or ill will for you, ulterior motives or ill will towards you. So you're all going through endings. This is what's happening. Someone you watch me and you're, you watch me you know that I'm gifted and you have a problem with me being gifted. You want me to shut up. You've come to my platform faithfully. Thank you for watching. Thank you for the views. But you have a problem with my readings. It's that you know I'm gifted, but you can you keep saying, nah, she probably don't know what she's talking about. I don't trust her readings. 
ma'am, sir, whoever you are, go on somewhere. Go watch someone else. I can refer you to a lot of channels because I've watched a lot of readers. And this is how I started learning my gifts, uh, perfecting my gifts and things that they're watching other readers. I still watch other readers because I respect their work. That's, that is how you learn, right? I can read all the tarot books in the world, which I've read quite a lot of them. But if you don't see how something is done, you're not going to know how to do it. So you keep coming to my platform. Obviously, I'm gifted. If you're coming back time and time again every day, you watch literally every video that I put out. You've never missed a video. But you keep saying, no, she's not telling the truth. I got to go find out if, if what she said is true. And everything I said keeps, keeps being confirmed to you. How do I know that if I'm not gifted? How do I know you are going to readers to confirm what I am saying? You don't talk to me. I don't talk to you. I haven't seen you. You've never seen me, possibly. Maybe I've met you before. And I'm just not aware of who you are. But how do I know that you are going to readers to verify my readings? How do I know that? Hmm? You can't explain that, can you? It does not make any sense to keep watching someone and you're, you know, uh, um, you have a problem with how they read or how long their channel has been up or like what? Come on. Come on. We don't have time for this nonsense. Go find yourself something better to do. Go watch another reader. We, there are lots and lots of gifted readers on YouTube. Go watch someone else. Stop bringing your negativity to my platform. Stop bringing your negativity to my platform. You've been doing that for a while. There's a feminine energy that does it and there's a masculine energy that does it. You go to verify my readings. If I was not gifted, how do I know? Do you want me to describe each of you? Even call your names? Because we can do that. I can describe you to the T. I see you when you're watching my content behind your phone. Like, come on. Some of us, maybe you've seen me in life. Some of us don't walk around with a sign on our forehead saying that we are spiritual, we're gifted, we're this, we're that. We hide these things when we step outside of our homes so we can have some type of normalcy. So when you see me, you're not going to tell I'm into spirituality. You're not going to be able to tell that I have all the clairs and then some. You can't tell any of that. You'll just see me and say, oh, there's something about her, but you don't know what it is. Literally every person I've ever met they always look at me and say, there's something about her. Hmm, she's different. What is it? I can't get my finger on it. She seems different. It's what people often say in their heads. She seems different. Someone has even, people have even wondered if I was retarded before because of how I carry myself. Honey, I'm, I'm anything but retarded. What I am is someone that studies people but keep everything to myself so i know exactly who you are from behind the screen i feel like i've met you before worked with you before in a company you've been keeping track of me online honey chill chill it's a few of you that I've worked with before. I know you watch me. You watch my content faithfully. I know which one, ones of you are watching. 
but you have a problem with my readings. You have a problem with me being happy. You do things behind the scene and you, un you, you are confused on why I still show up in the energy that I do. I am in control of my vessel. My vessel is mine. I am so sorry you're not in control of yours. Yours is being controlled by someone else. But what I am and who I am belongs to me. I am a free will child of the most high. I will fulfill my purpose regardless of what you all do behind the scenes. It will absolutely be fulfilled. So you can go and get clarity on all of my readings if you want. You will still be told the same thing I told you in this reading. So maybe you are part of this shenanigans and you want to see if you are going to jail, if you have a court case coming up, you do. You do. How do I know that you are doing this if I'm not gifted? I just heard terrified. So you are terrified of my gifts, terrified of me. I don't do anything to people. Honey, I keep to myself. I mind my business. I don't care who you are, who you not are. I mind my business. Absolutely. I told you. Oh, Lord, honey. Someone is being sat down. This was, was a practitioner. This is just reiterating what I said. Okay. Queen of Wands, Star C, Empress, Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Swords. Honey, you're moving forward. You're taking charge of your life. You've gone through some type of ending and you are going through a rebirth. You're taking charge of your life, moving forward. You absolutely have all of the necessary tools that you need to prosper in life. I said you were going through a difficult time and this car is on the bottom. And this is coming to an end. This period of difficulties is over. You're moving forward. You are now solid in your purpose. Your throne cannot be destroyed, whatever it is you are doing. You're moving forward. While your enemies are falling down and they're scattering like roaches. Scattering like roaches. Because these people did, did not have any genuine connection with one another. You were the common denominator that kept these people together. They got a thrill out of messing with you, uh, uh, doing all kinds of immature things. You were the common denominator. But now that they cannot take you down, they don't have anything to talk about. You were the hot topic, the cold topic, the warm topic. You took over these people's lives without any type of effort on your part but they don't have you now to talk about so they're scattering like roaches in chaos someone led a group of people down the slaughterhouse judgment i'm telling you you're moving forward your ancestors have made the call it is time for you to move forward they're sick and tired of playing these little russian roulette games with people it's like huh oh, we're, we're not entertained with you people anymore. This is your ancestors, by the way. Uh, this is not as entertaining as we thought it was going to be. These people are quite boring. They're not as intellectual as we thought they were, or we were hoping they were. We thought they were the masters of illusions. This is your ancestors being, re uh, <laughs> being sarcastic. I thought they were the masters of illusion. Yeah, me too. What happened? They can't cause illusions anymore. I thought they wanted to play Russian roulette with our child. Now we want to play Russian roulette and they don't want to play with us anymore. Oh, your ancestors are bored. So they're just kind of sweeping them to the side. They're like, come on child, time to elevate. Time to move forward. Time to fulfill your purpose. Time to step into your purpose and be on your way. And they don't know what I'm telling you. Be on your way. 
and they don't know what to do with themselves. Someone here does not see you as human because what they did to you, what they tried to do to you, you should not have survived. They don't know how you survived. They don't know how you're still here. They don't know. I'm telling you, they don't know how you survived. Every action they took against you, they don't know how you survived. They don't know how you are still brave, coming out here fearless, standing your ground, taking action. They wanted to wear you thin till you didn't feel like getting up ever again. They wanted you facing disappointment after disappointment, but these people don't know how it is that you keep going forward. How are you this fearless? You take actions, but you're not impulsive is what I just heard. It says she takes action. He takes action. He knows when to do things. He knows when to do what he needs to do. She knows when to do what she needs to do. They're terrified. They are absolutely terrified. You could have a, company, a couple or a family that's now maybe advocating for you against these people. They're being exposed, excommunicated, excommunicato, whatever you want to call it, exile. But your ancestors have made the call. You have raised into the call. You have accepted your call. You are the phoenix rising from the ashes. They're bringing balance into the situation. They're sitting your enemies down. They cannot move forward. They will not be receiving what they thought they were going to be receiving, which was this ace of pentacles, but it belongs to you. This is your birthright. They're going to get what belongs to them. And your, uh, 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 what, what do they call these people? Your enemy? Your comp competition, not sealing the common waters. This person has a lot of troubles coming in. A lot of troubles coming in. Someone is out of balance mentally and emotionally. This is what she wanted for you. This is what they wanted for you. But this is what they're going through. And you are out here sealing on. You're about to be in a relationship. You're about to be living in abundance with a new house, a new family dynamic, a healthy family dynamic with equal give and take with your partner. Honey, it's beautiful. I will see you in, your, in my next read. Thank you for watching and goodbye for now.